You damn player haters never wanna see me blow Flamboyant entertainment, CEO Yo, the spotlight is mine, it ain't his no more When Lee come home, nigga Yo, 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 it's a new week, and I ask you, what you watching? What y'all watching? What you watching, yo? Hey, happy new week. It is Monday again. It's on the viewing eyes, my gunners for the uh, protection from the computer screen. You know, it's, you know, you know, gotta protect yourself. Workplace uh, safety. Today we got 10 little known conspiracy theories that will blow your mind. We got a wow video for, I mean a whoa video for y'all. I'm messing my own stuff up. I ain't even gonna cut it. We're gonna leave it authentic. I mean, I could easily edit that out, but you know. We're going to keep it real. We're going to keep it one honey, honey, honey. All right. So, how was y'all's weekend? Mine was pretty decent. You know, everybody's got something going on. And we're here to entertain you with whoa videos. So, we're going to watch 10 little known conspiracy theories that will blow your mind. Let's go. If you haven't already subbed, I'm Aquarian OG. And you should get to know me. The internet is filled with conspiracy theory websites and videos. But what fascinates most people about these alternative ideas is that beyond the popular well-known conspiracy theories, there are many which are even more elusive and mysterious. Oh yeah? Tell me. Melodic haunting music. It Here is. It is kind of little known conspiracy theories that will blow your mind. Dun, dun, dun. Number ten is the new chronology. New chronology. Okay. Ten got we the big words on it. History in school. Some of us pursue that interest at college, university, or through personal study. Regardless, right. there's an accepted view as to the chronology of events. Academics teach us that recorded human history, the length of time we've been writing down what's happening around us, goes back about 5,000 years. But a Russian mathematician by the name of Fomenko argues that this is wrong and that recorded uh. history is only around 1,000 years old. He claims to have done calculations on historical data showing that historical records have been forged, misinterpreted, and promoted promoted to keep what's really happening in humanity's recent past secret. This new See that makes sense. That makes sense. Cuz all right. So you got the time before the Jesus. Then you got the time after the Jesus, you know. I say the Jesus because of what, you know, just whatever. Everybody's got their own religion and, and their own belief. There's like different factions of Jesus. I mean, we'll just say the Jesus. Because it's measured in Jesus' time, A.D., B.C., you know. Yeah, that makes sense, though. So which one is real? Which one's the actual one? I know the 1,000, that seems too short. 2,000, that still seems too short. 5,000, that makes more sense to me. Chronology has a number of high-profile supporters. If this is true, no one is quite sure what this 1,000-year-old lie is actually hiding from all of us. Number well, nine does somebody is Harold know. Wilson. Harold Wilson, what did he do? Harold Wilson was a world-famous politician from the UK. He was okay. known for his phenomenal debating abilities, which led to the most powerful political office in Britain. He became Prime Minister twice, from 1964 to 1970, and then right. again from 1974 to 1976, winning okay. four general elections. Now, all of this may sound run-of-the-mill, but things take a turn into the strange when you learn that Harold Wilson was suspected by some of being a spy for Soviet Russia. The that's not impossible. If a spy is good at his job, he's going to be able to talk himself into some good spots of 
espionage. And ain't nothing bigger than being in office. I mean, hey. If he really was a spy in the Soviet Union, kudos to him for being good at his job. Because, hey, if you held office as a spy, you good at something. The idea that the most powerful person in the United Kingdom at the height of the Cold War was spying for the enemy seems Man. better suited for a James Bond novel than reality. However, while Prime <clears throat> Minister, the BBC uncovered an alleged plot to remove Harold Wilson from office by the UK's MI5 agents. Oh. The reason? Many believe there was real evidence that the Prime Minister himself was a Soviet agent. So... They have MI5 in the UK. Don't we have like MI6 or something like that? Isn't there a group like that for American? Isn't it like MI6 or something? There was a movie about it. There was actually a couple of movies on it. I think it was a movie and a TV show. MI6. Something like that. MI5 sounds familiar as all get up. Number eight are immortal actors. Hmm. Mm. Some actors appear to defy age with their youthful looks well into their advanced years. However, some believe this is because those actors are not what they seem. Several conspiracy theories argue that some of the most iconic actors of all time are part of a secret society that has unlocked the secret to everlasting life. Conspiracy oh, yeah, theorists really? offer some key visual evidence to support their claims. For example, photographs and paintings from the last few centuries allegedly show that some actors are hundreds of years old. A painting from 1875 oh, appears to show a man who very much looks like Keanu Reeves, while yeah. a photograph from 1870 appears to show none other than Nicolas Cage, very much alive and well over 100 years ago. If such a society does exist, you wonder just what price hey. it is to join. Number seven is down the rabbit hole. Oh, snap, the rabbit hole. Oh boy, this one ought to be deep. I mean, well, no British pun. British author Lewis Carroll wrote a book called The Nursery Alice. This was a version of his own book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, but okay. simplified for children. It was published in 1889. But in a grisly turn of events, the same kid's book had been implicated in one of the world's most famous murder cases. For well over a century, people have tried to find out the identity of Jack the Ripper, but one conspiracy theory states that Lewis Carroll left clues in his books as to oh, who no, the really. killer really was. And how Damn. Alice in Wonderland is connected to a murder. I knew something was off about Jack the Ripper, but Alice in Wonderland is connected to a whole murder? How would he know? Because he allegedly is Jack the Ripper himself. Oh, this see? theory was first proposed by writer Richard Wallace in 1996, and since then, he's been supporters. Several clues can be found in the books, and it's led many to wonder whether one of the greatest children's writers of all time was also was one actually of the a mass most murder. infamous killers. Number six is Kubrick and the Illuminati. Uh oh. And we only own six. Stanley Kubrick was one of the greatest directors who ever lived, but he also was a subject of several conspiracy theories. One of the more popular ones is that he was involved in faking moon landing footage. The moon landing, However, yep. There's also an even darker theory which states that the films he made resulted in his own death. Throughout Kubrick's career, he believes strongly in the use of subliminal messages throughout his films. This okay. is why his films have been studied so widely for their secret meanings. A lesser known conspiracy theory states that Stanley Kubrick was an inside member of the Illuminati, the mythical group which supposedly controls the Earth. In this theory, Damn. he left clues about the organization in his films, but when he finally... Look at him. Dude, look like he would be crazy off of something. Either about to do something or seen something. He only made a movie about secret societies called Eyes Wide Shut. The Illuminati had him assassinated. Number five is the A440 conspiracy. I don't remember watching that movie. 
Another little known conspiracy is that of A440. A440 is a musical note, the first A note after middle C to be precise. This note vibrates at exactly 440 hertz, hence its name. It's been used since the mid 20th century and has become a tuning standard for most instruments. However, there are several conspiracy <coughs> theories attached to it. One states that the A440 note actually causes stress, aggression, and antisocial behavior in humans. Really? Some believe that it was developed by the Nazis during the Second World War and has since been used to manipulate the human mind. The way hmm. Wow. I wonder what songs I listen to that have A440 in it. I'm going to have to check out that tone, see what that tone is. The way that it allegedly works is that the note vibrates at a frequency that interferes with the very fabric of our universe, causing disharmony in living matter. Some believe Ooh. that it's only a matter of time before this malevolent musical <clears throat> note is used to undo modern civilization with a deafening crescendo. Number four is the 9-11 stock market conspiracy. The 9-11 stock market conspiracy? What, did everybody sell before the... Hmm. I'm curious about what... This one right here. Huh. Most 9-11 conspiracy theories are pretty disrespectful to those who lost their lives that day not to mention those who try to defend us. However, there's one little known conspiracy theory which does raise some questions. This theory okay. speculates that there was some unusual activity in the financial markets in the days leading up to September 11th. Some of this activity revolved around airline shares. Conspiracy theorists suggest really? that unknown investors were aware of what was about to happen <clears throat> on that day and sold their shares before the attacks occurred. Furthermore, shares and insurance companies were also heavily traded on that day. While this trading hasn't resulted in any official accusations, it was investigated, leading some conspiracy theories to insist that someone out there made a lot of money from that day. Number three is the last. That's interesting. Because, you know, Amazon has a thing about zombie apocalypse in their uh, user agreement. The user agreement now. Hmm. Why would Amazon be concerned with a zombie apocalypse? Left hand. I'm left handed. What about left handed? It used to be thought that left-handedness was a mark of the devil. People who were left-handed were forced to use their right hand for most tasks. And in some instances, the left hand was tied awkwardly behind the back. While this is superstition at its worst, there's a little known conspiracy theory that there's more to some left-handed individuals than meets the eye. This theory argues that there is an advantage to being left-handed and that a yeah. powerful secret society only allows members who have this hand dominance. This may seem like an unusual proposition, but when you consider that five of the last eight presidents were left-handed or ambidextrous and that an unusually high number of people in power are the same, it does make you wonder if this alleged society really does exist and is controlling our faith no and shadows. Number two is Finland's origin. Huh. Hey, left hand. A recent conspiracy theory which gained traction on Reddit, Reddit is one of many alternative history perspectives. This theory suggests that the country of Finland doesn't actually exist at least not as we know it. The argument is that the landmass known as Finland in Europe, which borders Russia and the Baltic Sea, was fabricated as recently as a hundred years ago. This was supposedly pulled off by Russian and Japanese diplomats so that they could manipulate fishing rights in the Baltic Sea. The people who currently live in modern day Finland are the descendants of people from surrounding areas who were shipped there and sold an elaborate hoax about Finland having existed for many years. Now, some argue that this is a hoax, while others believe that it is suggestive of alternative history and that our belief in the modern world has been widely fabricated. And I believe that part. one is the portal to hell. Portal to hell? Scientific advances <clears throat> have altered our lives for the better, but there are those who insist that one high-profile scientific experiment 
not trying to go to hell. So I ain't worried about no portal there. And it's like, that's just not, that's, that's not a destination, son is in fact a worldwide satanic conspiracy. In this conspiracy theory, the scientific community has been infiltrated at all levels by Satan worshippers who have manipulated scientific data and funding in this order got to children meet around it. goal to bring about the coming of the Antichrist. The experiment in question is the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. This vast underground particle accelerator is used to smash particles together to see what they're comprised of. However, some believe that as either the current or How does man get to that point? are more powerful, they will eventually tear a hole in the fabric of space. Then, whatever demonic forces lie in wait in darkness can finally come forth and claim our world as their own. But as always, thank you for watching. That sounds like this video. That sounds like the warp from uh, the Warhammer stories. If you're familiar with Games Workshop or um, Dawn of War or anything like that, all the chaos creatures came out of the warp. That's where all the bad guys were. Except for the aliens, you know, but that's just xenophobia right there. But yeah, I was going to almost knock my paintbrushes over. I got my painting equipment set up in front of me, so we got some paint action going on and we got some videos going on. Yo, I hope y'all liked that video. That was pretty interesting. I'm gonna have to look up like one or two of those up. There's a few things in there I didn't realize was going on. But yeah. Uh, I will catch y'all on the next video. And if you haven't liked or subscribed, please do so, cause it helps me grow. We're trying to do some things with this channel. I'm Aquarian OG and I am O-U-T. Until the next video, ye. Yeah, I was trying to rhyme that, but that was, yeah. All right, deuces, y'all. I'm out.